Christ, let's see. All right, what's up, guys? We're going to talk about the Rams right now. We're going to talk about the fuckery that is lessening the Rams. Uh, we're going to talk about Sean McVay. We're going to talk about... Uh, Les I, Snead, you madman. You you dirty you, man. You, you piece of shit. You motherfucker. Everyone told you. Everyone said it. I said it. Everyone said it. They're fucked. No cap space. Nothing. What are you doing? I, I, I see the numbers like getting cut. Like I see the players leaving. I see the cuts. I see the releases. What does it mean? What does cap space fucking mean? Everyone's like, that's it. it that, that's it for the Rams. It Everyone's like, that's it for the Rams. Cap space There's no more. Bro, we had a whole episode on cap oh, space. Oh, and also no first round draft picks. Yeah, Let's no first round. Yeah. Bro, we had a whole episode on cap space, and Les Need made cap space literally not fucking matter. <laughs> bro, Les no cap space. But I think they had. Were they in the worst cap space? Bro, they're always. They're all except for the Saints. Other than the Saints, they were. Yeah, for sure. Like they were over the cap. Like. The dude, Rams are like a microcosm of LA. Just spend, well, spend dude, money. Well, dude, last, like, well, last year, man, like last year, we were like, dude, they're fucked. They're so fucked. I thought they were fucked. TG three, Todd Gurley. We had all these players that were like, oh, dude, there's no way. They cut Todd Gurley and and save a bunch of money, right? And they were like, oh, okay, Todd Gurley is done. All right, well, he's good. All right. And then obviously they trade away Brockers for a seventh round swap, swap, which was basically giving up a really good D tackle for nothing, yeah. but in order to clear cap space. Mm-hmm. Their whole defense was signed away though, so they think that absolutely fucks them. Like not having basically the best part of your sec of your defense going into a season when you literally rode your I fucking defense. I wouldn't say defense. that they have Aaron Donald. They have Aaron Donald, but yeah. like name another name another lineman. That's true, yeah. They, I can't. Yeah, I, I mean, can't. like, yeah. I was like, oh, Morgan Fox, gone. I was like, like, Sebastian dude, Robert Joseph. Quinn, bro. Yeah, right? Exactly, <laughs> on the Bears. Just, Sebastian <laughs> Joseph Day is the only good other tackle on that line. But mm. their secondary is what got them. John Johnson got them. You know, I know they had two freaking, uh, I'll never remember that. Uh, Troy something and another corner. But they had, they had two corners that came out of nowhere that was super freaking good. And obviously, you also had Brandon Staley who came in and was a fucking... Dude, that guy was just like it was like one of watching one of those kids with a Rubik's cube, and you're like, dude, this is not gonna figure out four seconds, bro. He's like, yeah, I know, yeah, I'm just gonna like do this, and, but he's gone. So like the madman that was behind that defense all last year, fucking gone. He's in the same city, but gone. Like that's really interesting because they were really reliant on that defense, and while yes, they've they've massively massively improved their offense this year, they didn't play offense, bro. They didn't they didn't rely on their defense. Bro, they didn't they, they, play they didn't offense, offense yeah, they dude. They just yeah. chose not to. They were like, they literally chose not to play offense all fucking season, dude. <laughs> yeah, and, and my man in the Lions jacket now has to deal with that yeah, quarterback. That's fine. So, Sorry. Yeah. Well, dude, here's what I want to talk about. This is kind of what I was looking at. Is like I was like, okay, yeah, blah blah blah. They got rid of it. But here's the thing: is like their defense is not going to be like that's the one of the I think the hardest things in the NFL to replicate is successful defenses because there's so many moving pieces. There's of so course. many moving pieces. You have twelve. Like I mean, sorry, you got eleven guys on the field. Obviously, I don't know why I always say twelve. D- defense is nothing but discipline because offense. You have guys that want to make flashy plays. You know, you get to look pretty on defense. Defense is gritty. It's tough. You got to do stuff that you don't want to do. It sucks. It's muddy. You know. Well, on top of that, like here's my thing: is like. At the end of the day, like if the Chiefs like were like, oh, you know what, like we really have to sacrifice and like make our defense better. In no fucking world are they getting rid of Patrick Mahomes. It's just not gonna happen. No, uh, so no it, why would you? Yeah, exactly. And on top of that, no matter how bad that offense gets, Patrick Mahomes will still be Patrick Mahomes. Like, don't get me wrong, that offense will suffer. It will suffer. But if you have a great quarterback, you don't really need as many great pieces. Like, don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. Like Tyreek Hill is incredibly talented. Ty- Travis Kelsey is amazing, and you know Demarcus Robinson and Sammy Watkins, all those guys yeah, ran and, it and out. And even look at this: like, while obviously you should get offensive linemen to protect uh, to protect your quarterback, Russell Wilson has shown that you can make it work. Yeah, you literally yeah. just don't need them. Is it is it a you smart thing to do? Absolutely fucking not. Yeah, if you're the Seahawks, you're like, we don't need them. Like, we literally don't need them. And Russell's like sitting there, he's like, please, and they're like, no, we just don't need them. And, and so and so Patrick Mahomes is, you know, he's Russell Wilson, but better. Yeah. And so yeah. I, I kind of wanted to look at so like after obviously everything happened and the dust settled, I was like, wow, I don't know if you know Stafford's going to have any weapons, but I didn't really think about it. Obviously, they still have Cooper Cup, they still have Robert Woods, but they signed just resigned Deshaun. Uh, they, they didn't resign, but they added Deshaun Jackson, and they still have Van Jefferson, who was their second round pick last year. Who That's was a dirty really offense? Good. Well, Deshaun That's Jackson still offense. has speed. 
he doesn't need to be a beast when you have Robert Woods and Cooper Cup as your one and two. And, and they, they definitely have one of the better offensive lines in the NFL, too. Well, here's the thing is, actually, I was looking at it, and they do, and they have some returning pieces, but A, Whitworth isn't re-signed yet. I think that they will re-sign him. They'll bring him back. He's not re-signed. They have some pieces that were like second, third, fourth round picks that need to seriously step up. Brian Allen at center, but Havenstein's still really good. Corbett's pretty solid. Whitworth's uh, leadership is really what's most he, valuable he, on that absolutely, team. Absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, that, that guy looks weird because his head looks like he should be like four hundred fifty pounds, but like like low key, kind of like lean. Can we also but just his, talk about how that man is like forty years old? He's and, literally no, he is forty. Yeah, like, he's, he's literally, forty. Yeah, he's forty like, years old. Yeah, he's forty. He could be my father. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking wild. Yeah, um, that is wild. I kind of want to go over some of the weapons, though, that I am looking forward to Stafford having. So, obviously, Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, Van Jefferson, Deshaun Jackson. Ew. That is disgusting. Ew. And on top of that, Darrell Henderson and Cam Akers are returning. So, Cam Akers broke out last year, and Darrell Henderson he is was great. Extreme. Cam Akers is awesome He's, last dude, year. Dude, the guy has seriously, like, quick change ability. The guy can stop on a dime, change direction. Well, the I watched, offense only needed one piece. Yeah, and I, it, yeah so, quarterback. Yeah, they yeah, need a quarterback. quarterback. Yeah, so, quarterback. Like, they need a quarterback. You know, Jared then, Goff's great, but Jared Goff, you know, no, he looks not. like... I'm, 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 <laughs> I know, I know what you're saying. This is me being nice. You yeah, know what I mean? I was like, no, Dude, no. Jared Goff looks like he should be working at Jack's surfboards in Huntington Beach. Absolutely, 100%. Like, the, if I oh, saw him on the beach, dude. I would be like, oh, we'd probably be great friends. Dude, do you need some wax, bro? Yeah, he'd be the kind of guy we run into, and we'd be like, oh, yeah, we'd probably get along great. Dude, <laughs> dude, I played quarterback for the Rams. It's like, okay, dude, lay off the DMT. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just like, okay, yeah. Joe. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, all right, chill out. Yeah. yeah. Well, dude, here's my thing, and like, this is kind of the point I'm trying to make, is like, obviously that defense is lacking more than last year, but their offense has gotten so much better just with the addition of Stafford, and obviously they bring in Djax, who's like not what he was, but he still has speed, and all he needs to do is catch 400 yards. Like they have, he needs they have to several, run. There's several amazing leadership pieces on that team Absolutely. because they have, they have old ass fuck guys, you know, like Djax and Wit, but also Stafford. What a great leader he is. Dude. You know, like you can't complain about having Stafford on the team. Like I, I, uh, so he was on Colin Coward the other day actually, and I listened to his interview. And Stafford's such an awesome guy. Did you know that he played shortstop when he was in high school? I know yeah, so everything of about Of course him. you do. Yeah, so he's a shortstop, and he was a center fielder. Yeah. This dude's a no-joke athlete. Also played catcher. And do you know who he played with? Yeah, he played with Kershaw. Yeah, he played with... his best friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk about an athletic combo yeah. right there. Oh, yeah. And so, and so, and That's so, what I was happy for him. Yeah. He gets to see his friend. Yeah, and so, um, so, but no, point is, is that, that is a team that is set up for success. I think, you know, I think we're all in agreement on this. The Rams are going to kick fucking ass. They're going to... You know, Fuck up, people, bro. The mm. NFC West is a fucking nightmare, bro. Oh, my God. Fuck that, dude. dude fuck that. Fuck that. Dude, fuck that. Fuck the NFC West. They're like, oh, oh well, God. the Niners weren't good last year. It's like, yeah, they ha- their whole team was hurt. They're all back. I was yeah. like, Oh, my God. If they get a quarterback. The Seahawks will still be at least 10-6. Oh and six. God. If, the, if the Niners dude, get a quarterback, honestly, the, like, that, look, the NFC West will be a fucking problem. Well, and then, and then and then the Cardinals, like, I mean, Cliff Kingdom. Who'd they just get? The Cardinals just got someone, too. Well, they got... Uh, like, today or, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. Li- they signed today. fucking Malcolm Butler, dude. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. They got a Malcolm Butler, dude. That team is looking good. Cliff Kingsbury mm-hmm. is a terrible coach, so they'll do nothing. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, dude, I... Yeah, yeah, Cliff will fuck it up. A little, bit, a little bit on an emotional note um, I do, uh, before, you know, I get off. But, like, I want to talk about, like, I, I had... So, I have a girlfriend of three years. Uh, she's a beautiful woman. I love her very much. But I... Uh, Selena's a lovely lady. Yeah, she's a great lady. Mm-hmm. But she lets us uh, do whatever. So, but uh, the other day... Uh, Matt Stafford posted his goodbye video. Bro, it's 14 minutes, by the way. Um, you cried. I, I'm about to right now. Like, okay. dude, I literally looked at okay. like, It's okay. I was watching Bridgerton with her, which, actually, great show. Um, and, uh, kind of lame. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, and I go, hey, babe, can we stop the show? She goes, yeah, why? And I go, I have to watch this. Matt Stafford means more to me than, like, a lot of close relatives of mine. Like, straight up i like cried and selena and i have a relationship with matt stafford that is absolutely not reciprocated whatsoever like he does not know i exist but i feel such a connection with this he does man. though he does yeah he does know he does though it's like he does though but honestly i think matt's gonna just throw the fuck out of the ball and like everyone is saying like oh matt stafford dude he's gonna get in there he's actually gonna have an offense he's have an offensive coach that is a fucking mastermind and he's gonna take that fucking rocket sewn onto his shoulder and fucking throw the shit out of the ball and i'm so over everyone saying that that's not gonna happen i can't wait it is he's gonna throw the fuck out of the ball like 
Dude, he, he's been a top 15 quarterback literally every single year with garbage teams. He literally sets records for pass attempts. What do you think is going to happen when he gets McVay? He literally had one receiver. Don't get me wrong. Calvin Johnson is the best to ever do it. But, like, still, he had one receiver ever. And and Kenny Galladay. And yeah, Kenny Galladay. And, and who's getting overpaid. Okay, but, no, you know, I think we can all agree that the Rams are going to kick ass next year. Um, Rams so. are going to kick ass. Les Snead is a fucking mastermind. And, uh... NFC West can be a fucking shit show. So yeah, best of luck to anyone in the NFC West.